Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. In my previous video, I have just explained how the R Studio interface looked like that it got four major portions. In this video, I'll be talking about the basic calculations in R, means how to get started with R, right? So in this video, I'll be talking about the basic stuff only. Let, let's get started. First of all is how we can declare some variables, like how to assign some values to a variable, right? So I'll, I'll be working on the console here. So let's start with the A variable. Here, I'll be assigning something to A, let's suppose one. Okay, it, in this way, it will be assigned. You can see in the global environment, it's showing one has been assigned to A. Another way available, like I can also assign with the help of equal to as well. Both are acceptable right both things are acceptable like either we can use this uh, left arrow with dash and equal sign both are used to like define assign the value to a variable right uh, afterwards let's uh, try to work with some expression let's suppose we got this a2 and the b is maybe uh, uh, we can say a into 2 right this is the b's value right which is 4 now we can calculate c which is equivalent of a plus b. This is a simple uh, expression I'm calculating and you can see uh, on the right side, the uh, things are been printed as well. Like this is the global environment. If you want to print C here, you can see six got printed here, right? This is how we can work with us regular, uh, like simple expressions. If you want to put something as a comment, right? You can put with the help of hash. Like this is my comment it means it not be evaluated it not be executed because it's a comment so we can put a hash in beginning right other thing is like capital and small things are different what it means let's suppose if i'm using a equal to three right this is different and a equal to uh, four this is different so both things are different right so it treats both the lower case and upper case letters or the characters differently right this is like this is our nature of our programming language Let's suppose if I'm working in this way, um, I'm having this Y variable available. And if I try to assign multiple values, you'll be getting error here. It's showing an unexpected error, right? It's obvious that because uh, if you are having more than one value available, then you have to create a vector, right? Here I'll be using concatenation or C function, right? We can say a simple C function here. So how we can make use of it? So just make use of C in the beginning. Right. Although I'll be talking about this data structures, vectors and all in detail in separate videos, but this is a vector we have created, right? So now you can work with multiple values together. Earlier, uh, we were not using C prefix C as a function. Next is like uh, we can also uh, treat, we can also make use of R as a calculator. Let's suppose if I'm just, uh, if I'm not, not de defining any variable, right? Then two plus four, six, right? It means it will be working as a calculator here, right? In this way. I hope everything is going well. Next point is like uh, I can also do the basic calculations with the vector as well. Let's suppose if you have something in the uh, inside the C function, right? You can simply work with it as well. Let me remove this everything. So let's suppose I got this. Uh, uh, I got some numbers written in this, right? And I'll be uh, working with this. I'm just putting this uh, this simple expression. Then I got one four nine. It means 1 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 2, 3 raised to power 2. So I got 1, 4, 9 as a answer. So if I go further, let's suppose if I want to now uh, go with uh, 2 comma 3, what it means like uh, it will be 1 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, 3 raised to power uh, 2. But it not be uh, uh, functional because it says that the longer object length is not a multiple of shorter object length. It's very important to remember like when you're working with this kind of expressions make sure that both should be in multiples like it is two it means it should be at least four let's let me just show you now if i'm just working with the next point i'm now uh, going with the the same concept but now i'm having four now this is acceptable why because in the this longer thing is a four and shorter thing is two it means four divided by two is acceptable so it will give you answer Right? And how it will be evaluated? 1 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, 3 raised to power 2, 4 raised to power 3. In this way, it will be calculated. So make sure you remember this rule that longer object length should be a multiple of shorter object length. Right? That's why I've done it in front of you. Again, we can also do some multiplication as well in the same way. 
right if i'm just working with this uh, two so it will uh, the two will be multiplied with all the elements of this c here so so that we can get two four six eight so i hope uh, you must have now learned how to work with variables how to assign some values how to work with the regular simple expressions how to uh, work with the regular uh, like as a how we can use r as a calculator right and how to work with this little vector concept right so rest of the concept i'll be covering in a next video thanks for watching guys see you in next video